All right, guys. So today we're going to be working on this. This is the housing for the PTO for the tines uh, for the tiller. Um, where we left off last time was we took it, started cleaning it up a little bit, and we found that there were some more parts in here that we needed to replace. Well, they have came in, here they are. We got them right here. I do need to clean this up a little bit more. There's still little bits of smoo and nasties in there. So we're gonna be cleaning that up a little bit more. Let me push this to the side. I got my screwdriver here. I'm gonna open this box up. Um, this is the drive shaft for the PTO. Let's see. A box within a box. Boy, they know how to ship this stuff, don't they? All right, here it is. Let me go grab this other one. So, here's the original parts. And this is why we're changing this out. Now this one here is rusted and I was not too concerned about this because it's gonna be coated with oil. It's thick, it's strong, it's gonna last. But if you look up in here, these teeth are super, super thin compared to what it should be. I don't know if, how well you can see that. So the teeth were just torn up on this, this one. Okay. So that's the first part that we're having to get rid of and replace. Throw that in the trash. And then here's the rest of the part. And this is, this here's the, the main part. Same thing, take a look at that. I don't know how well you can see the depth. These have just been chewed up, worn out. Come on, focus. Chewed up, worn out, and these are much, much deeper. Um, you can see the teeth on that versus that. So, since it's open, since we can do it, let's do it. But for now, I'm going to put these parts underneath the workbench and I am going to clean the housing up some more. Um, I was going to paint it. I was thinking about painting it, but at this point it'd be kind of like putting lipstick on a pig. Um, this is some heavy iron and later I'm going to come in here and clean this up a little bit more um, and really clean it up. But for right now, I, I just need to get it put together because we're already about a month behind planting season and I got to get these plants in the ground. So let's start cleaning see where it gets us
The other thing that I want to touch on before we get started is, let's see if I can get that into the camera. Come on, focus. Is a diagram. Now this is, uh, maybe if I take that cover off, it'll help a little bit. There you go, a diagram. Um, if you're gonna be working on a, on a vehicle, if you're gonna be working on a tractor, it would behoove you to get one of these. Now all you have to do is get on the interweb, get on, get on Google, and you can put in a explosive diagram for blank, whatever you're working on. In this case, I went and got a parts manual, and this was a PDF. I printed it off, I took it up to my office, and I binded it so it, I could keep it together a little bit better. Now, I have... <clears throat> this is my tiller here. And this is, this is the tiller I have. But they're going to sell me parts for everything from the engine back. So I also have one of these for the engine that I have on this tiller. So I have two of these. So that way I have one for the Kohler engine. And then I also have one for all the parts going back. And all I have to do, if, if we flip over, let's flip over and see, and it shows you all the parts. They're listed here with part numbers. So I can get onto Google, I can get onto Amazon and just type those numbers in and get whatever I need. I don't have to search like I'm searching now. Here we go. So this is what we're working on today. Come on, focus. A little bit better. And it shows me all the parts. And see, I've highlighted some of these numbers. Bring this into you. I've highlighted like the springs and the washers and the seals because that's everything I have out here on the table, down here at this other end of the table. And, and then you can come over here and see here's the highlighted parts and what they're called in the sequence that they go back in. So these things are helpful. If you're going to be working on a car, a truck, an engine, anything, you, you can get these. You can find them. They're a little bit harder to find in, uh, in for certain things. But, I mean, this tiller was built in the early 80s, late 70s. And it took me less than five minutes to find one of these. So if that's the case, you can find one of these for just about anything. I'm fixing to do a rebuild on a boat, trailer, boat, and boat motor. And I'm going to download this. I already got one for the, the boat motor. I'm trying to get one from the manufacturer of the boat, at least some blueprints or something, so I know how the boat was put together. But you will see, I will take this, just the, the picture, and I'll prop it right up here so if I need to, I know how it's got to go together. Okay?
right guys, so tiller's fixed, or at least it seems to be fixed. I'm gonna run it through its paces real quick. I'm walking over here to the garden. It ain't much to look at right now, but it's a garden. Let's get you set up. So that's it. We got the tiller back together and I made a couple of rows in the garden and dug down a little bit deeper than normal. Uh, but I put it through its paces and it seems to be working good. And um, yeah, so the next video we'll do, uh, we'll probably will pull that tiller back out, plow up the whole garden, get it nice and deep, check for rocks. Uh, this is in this place where we have this garden is the this will be the first winter that we've had it in this place and so we're still getting rocks and just trash up um, i know at the beginning of the summer it felt like i was farming rocks uh, the dirt wasn't quite right to to plant but we made it work we we were able to put some beans up and we were able to get some uh, eggplant and a couple of things out of that garden so it was worth it um, but we, we, we went and we bought the um, plants and little six packs over at Home Depot. And we did that. Typically we'd do seed, but we're a little late on the draw because the tiller was broken. And so I got, we got like $130 worth of plants. I'm going to show you what that looks like. It, it doesn't seem like a lot but it, it you know it's something and then we're going to do the other half from seed so that uh, generally that'll give you anywhere from two weeks to a month stagger so we'll, i'll explain more about that later in a different video but today i'm just happy we got the tiller put back together it seems to be working great so yeah i'm happy guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, if there's something that y'all want to see um, just leave a comment down below and I'll get to it and we'll uh, we'll make a video about it other than that guys follow if you like it if you don't oh well and uh, y'all have a good one keep it real